I'm still at the Chicago Auto Show and behind me is the Cadillac IQ. Now, Cadillac does not have a display at the show this year, but they do have a couple of their electric vehicles here to showcase on the electric car test track that is also behind me. But this vehicle is going to be a static display, so it's not going to be on the track. I think the Lyric will be. But they are letting you kind of get a look at this vehicle for the first time in public, and they will occasionally have the doors open. I managed to talk myself behind the barrier, and um, I managed to get them to open the doors for me. I cannot climb inside, but let's just do a quick walk around of this new full-size electric EV from Cadillac. I'm Jill Simonello, and this is today's Car du Jour. And we'll just start at the front of the vehicle because this has a really nice and unique lighting signature. Now we've seen the badges that light up before and I think that they've done a really good job and I think this just looks really cool, very elegant and very Cadillac. And I just overall like the front uh, situation that you've got going on here from the lights to the lighting signature, the accent lights that come around the grill. And similar to what we saw in the Cadillac Lyric, I expect there's going to be some welcome signatures when you turn the, um, you know, lock or unlock the vehicle and, you know, the, the little lights will drop. And I, I'm sure there's going to be something cool that happens with this when you walk up to the vehicle in terms of a welcome signature. As you walk around the side, this is definitely a full-size SUV. You're going to notice there are three rows in here. You do have running boards. You have really nice, big, beefy wheels here. And coming around to the back, you're going to notice just a little bit more of an aerodynamic shape kind of coming down because they're really trying to make this as fuel efficient as possible. And I mean, I know full size SUV, how is that possible? But they're trying. We'll, we'll just leave that there. They're trying. And I really like the lighting signatures on the back. I think this looks really good. Cadillac has always had this really upright kind of a, a thin like light that goes up and down and it's very distinctive and whether you like it or you don't like it when you see something like this going down the road you know it is a Cadillac. Now this is going to be called the Cadillac IQ because Cadillac is doing this naming convention where all of their EVs add in IQ or end in IQ and um, so you have the Lyric uh, is, is the first electric IV uh, is the first electric EV and then, you know, because you can't say Escalade Eek, <laughs> you've got the Escalade IQ. So um, I think I've managed to talk them into opening the doors for me. So we will go around to the other side and check out that really large screen we just saw. All right, just from this brief view, as we get ready to look in the front seat, you can tell there is a lot going on here from the really elegant styling to just, um, yeah, this this right here. This, this, is, this is the showstopper. As you can see, it comes from the driver's side display all the way over to the passenger side, and it is one contiguous screen. I don't know that we have ever really seen that before because there is no break. There is no break in the glass and it just, you know, except for on the passenger side directly, there's no break in the glass. It just flows. And that is just, wow. It is, it is very eye-catching, and I don't know how this will operate in actual fact, but I'm gonna, make, I'm gonna make some estimations and some guesses. You do still have this touch controller here, so I imagine what this will do is control what is behind the screen here. And this right here will be a touch screen, and it controls your drive modes, cameras, lights, doors, windows, those kind of things. So some of the more functional things you would normally see knobs and dials for are going to be housed in this screen here. Moving up, it looks like you can select some ambient lighting, some different colors. And so that will be done through this screen here. Ooh, yellow, kind of like the glow. Um, but you'll be able to do some, some ambient lighting and some other features through there. I don't think that is going to be a touch screen. I think everything you're gonna do for this screen up here is gonna have to be through the touch controller. But I really like the way the ambient lighting looks and you can kind of see through into the back seat. You've got like this door panel that has the light on it and it just, I don't know, it looks really, really futuristic. I'm gonna say futuristic. Uh, all right, what else have we got going on here? We do have some of the more um, capacitive style 
buttons on the steering wheel. So see heated steering wheel here. Um, but some of the more capacitive style buttons, well, oh, black lacquer. Um, but <laughs> more of um, wood accents like it. Ooh, and this is really actually nice, a like gloss wood. Uh, that is very attractive, but still probably get a fingerprint. You do have your uh, mirror controls as buttons on here, and I appreciate that. And then your seating controls will be on the door from the heated seats, heated and ventilated seats, and then memory like that. Ooh, and that looks like that's going to be a massage function there. Uh, all right, you know what? I wanna talk about this. This is one of the benefits of having an electric vehicle is the fact that you can um, have this space kind of transform into what you need it to be because you don't have the bump uh, in the center for your, your transmission. So I love when automakers really take advantage of this space and, and make it for storage. So this is a really good place to put your purse, your bag, a pair of shoes, running shoes, gym shoes, I don't know. But but that is the perfect place for a purse or takeaway or grocery bag or something like that that you don't want to set on the passenger seat. So I am always appreciative of little storage spaces like that. And this is just really well done and nicely designed as well with, hey, look at that Cadillac emblem and it looks like stitching. I don't know. I think that's really well done. But then Cadillac itself just ultimately does things very, very well. You are gonna have this panoramic roof. I don't know if that is standard, but I would assume that it is, and it does not open. Uh, let's let's walk into the back seat, because as we saw, there were some screens and things going on there as well. So again, you've got the ambient lighting that carries over onto the door panel. Then you have rear passenger screens. I'm guessing this is probably going to be an available feature, not a standard feature. And this vehicle is set up with captain's chairs and this large center console. Again, I don't know if this is standard or if you will be able to get an available bench seat, but it wouldn't surprise me if this seating, seating configuration would be standard. It makes a lot of sense to me. This is a luxury vehicle. People are gonna be driven in this vehicle. People are gonna just be comfortable and feel pampered when they are sitting in here. And they've done you know, the interesting storage space here like they did in the front. Again, totally appreciate that for um, stowing things so you don't have to put it on the passenger seat. And then they have this center control here in this console area where you're gonna be opening and closing doors. It looks like, what, no door handles? Um, can't touch anything, so I don't know. But opening and closing your doors and um, HVAC controls, it looks like maybe your heated seats are also embedded in here. You have your cup holders in front of that. I appreciate that, that is a good location for that. A place to store your phone right here, and then this is gonna open and you will have more storage in there. Now, again, I can't uh, get into the back seat, but let's see if we can take a quick look and it looks like they've only got two seats going on uh, back there oh no maybe three because that third row uh, or that seat over there looks like it's pushed down so oh I don't like that I don't like the fact that they're going to try to shove three people back here because even if you try and put three of me back here that is not a good situation <laughs> that is going to be a squished situation uh, let's let's see if I can go behind this a little bit and look yeah that that is a three passenger third row and i don't like that uh, that is the only thing so far on this that i don't like everything else i think just looks really good and is very well done from the running boards which i'm assuming will be available as power running boards but these look like they're static to just all of the really nice details from you know the the seating accents to the stitching to the screenage the overall screenage that you've got going on to the ambient lighting i think that obviously this is going to be a huge success and a huge winner for cadillac especially because of the size of it and this can actually be a family vehicle to be driven um, around you know, great carpool vehicle if you can get it. Uh, just don't, again, don't put three people in the third row. Please don't do that. Uh, but yeah, that is just a quick look at the Cadillac IQ and the showstopper here, as I said at the very beginning, is going to be these screens.
Yeah, I just, I can't look away. Let's just, all right, yeah, I gotta look away. That is just a brief look at the Cadillac Escalade IQ. And if you are coming down to the Chicago Auto Show, like I said, it is going to be found in the back of the hall near the electric test car track and right next to the Cadillac Lyric. I'll see you next time with a new Car Du Jour.